Hi, my name is Grace. Recently, I've covered a restaurant in Homewood and another restaurant in Flossmore. So let's try and combine the history of the two towns in today's video. How does learning about the history of Homewood Flossmore High School sound? Construction for HF started in 1958 and the school opened in 1959. Originally, HF only contained 1,170 students which is about 293 students per grade. It only had 51 classrooms and 51 staff members. There were only four major buildings and there were no computers in sight. This is quite a dramatic difference from the 153 classrooms, 12 major buildings, 300 plus staff members, and over 1,500 computers in the building today. The campus had 95 acres, so a football field and track were added in 1961, with four tennis courts following suit in 1962. By 1965, the student population grew exponentially to about 2,000 students and additional buildings were added, including the auditorium in 1965 and the G&E buildings in 1966. Before this point, the bookstore served as a stage where all theatrical productions were held. However, the growth of the student population continued and a major faculty was desperately needed. So, in 1971, the North Building and Field House opened as the school's population topped 4,000. Through the 1970s and 80s, the student population remained fairly stable. This doesn't mean that there weren't many exciting things happening, though. In 1983, Homewood Flossmore won its first National Blue Ribbon School of Excellence Award. In 1988, the first five perfect scores to be given to a competitive drama team were given to the HF team's 1988 performance of The Good Woman of Setsuan at the Illinois State Finals. But in the late 1980s, cited to be mainly due to the aging population and emptiness households, the student population decreased. The only physical change happening on campus was the construction of the HF Ice Arena, which happened with a partnership alongside the HF Park District. This made HF one of the only public schools in the nation to have such a facility available. The first edition of Viking Television News aired in 1993, and the varsity football team won the state title against Naperville North in a closed game that same year, the ending score being 13-12. With a decade of planning under its belt, 1995 welcomed the completion of a $25 million renovation and addition program. This included all classrooms and offices being wired for internet access, a music wing having been added for students' practice and performance needs, the addition of a technology center and numerous labs offering computer-assisted instruction, the mall building being expanded, modernized, and staffed, an Olympic-sized aqua center opening, 14 tennis courts having been created, and the modernization of the student-run WHFH radio and Viking television stations. 1996 was no less exciting, as Homewood Flossmore won its second National Blue Ribbon of Excellence Award. President Bill Clinton also visited the school campus that September. Come 2002, HF became one of only 14 public high schools in the nation, and one of two in the state, to win the National Blue Ribbon of Excellence Award for a third time. In 2005, WHFH celebrated its 40th anniversary. The 2010s were no less exciting for the school. HF's broadcasting, journalism, and yearbook program won first place in the 2010-2011 and 2015-2016 state conferences. Homewood Flossmore was also named an IB World School in 2013, and the Fieldhouse got rebuilt that same year. Finally, and most recently, HF finished the remodeling of the Fine Arts Wing of the school this year. The new building includes a black box theater, better practice spaces, and nicer classrooms. HF states that over 1,000 students, or 1 in 3 students, are enrolled in a fine arts class 
and that they're expecting the number to expand due to the new and completely unique Media, Visual, and Performing Arts Academy, also known as the MVP program. Phew, HF really has a long and interesting history. And it's very fun seeing how far we've come in only 62 years. Shout out to HF's website for providing the information here. I'll post the link to that below, and I'll also link where you can find old yearbooks for those of you that are interested. Comment below if you have any fun stories from your time at HF. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.